Cochi Beach, California, a small stretch of paradise just north of San Clemente, ideal for surfing and sailing. Many surfers spend their summers at Pochi. Guys like surfboard manufacturer Hobie Alter, Bobby Patterson, Sandy Banks, and Wayne Schaefer, owner of the Pochi Beach House where the activities take place. These and a few other individuals make up a small group who use the sea as their everyday playground. One day it's having a clean wave at their backs. The next, maybe the invention of a new beach toy. And when the wind and wave conditions are just right, they'll even attempt to surf a big catamaran. But it's not so easy to maneuver a 600 pound boat in the surf. It's usually a lot of work, and if you goof, it can be a $4,000 mistake. But the thrill of gliding a sailing machine across a fast wave has always been a challenge to the boys at Pochi. And so one day after surfing, Hobie Alter and Sandy Banks began talking about a lightweight catamaran, a new toy for Pochi, one that was fast and could be handled by one man. Hobie began drawing a few designs in the sand and said, why don't we build it in a surfboard shop at night? All the materials are available and we could probably finish it in a couple of weeks. Sandy agreed, and from a drawing on the beach came a new and exciting boat, a one-man catamaran that within a year and a half would grow to a fleet of more than a thousand. It was the beginning of a new sport. And as soon as the boat hit the water, everyone at Pochi had to have one. sailors call this flying a hull. And as soon as you fly a hull, someone's flying one higher. And higher. It's a contest. Bobby Patterson says, I'm going up. Hobie says, I can beat that. Schaefer says, hey you guys, how about this? Well, Hobie wins. That's about as high as you can go. Well, so it goes over. No big deal. Just grab a line, face the boat into the wind, and up she'll come. Then climb aboard and you're ready for another hull flying contest. Pochi crew was becoming pretty adept at sailing the new toys, and now they were ready for the surf. The first big swell to be coupled with a brisk westerly came late in June, and the catamarans took to the sea. Sandy Banks is the first one out, and he's got a wave. Next, Hobie tries out his new boat. And 
not bad for his first ride. Now it's Bobby Patterson. And Wayne Schaefer. At only 120 pounds, Patterson finds it hard to keep the boat level in high winds. It's obvious that Bobby is really stoked as he hits the beach. Wayne Schaefer is next up. After a fantastic ride, Schaefer says, this is too much. Sliding across the wave in a curl calls her precise timing. Sandy Banks knows exactly when and where the wave is going to break. And this knowledge, coupled with sailing skill, enables him to get the maximum ride in the steepest part of the wave. After a ride to the beach, the best method for going back out is to get up a good head of steam and then just hang on. But the Pochi boys had a few problems while learning to sail in the surf. Problems like sitting on the wrong side. Coming about on the surf line led to Hobie's new maneuver called the Flying Chinese Leap Jibe. Or how about Sandy Banks? forgetting to uncleat the main sheet. Now Wayne Schaefer here has lived at Pochi Beach for over 20 years, and he knows the surf well. He was the first to take the mistakes of others and put them to good use. It was Schaefer who perfected the leap jibe, making it unnecessary to go all the way to the beach, like Bobby Patterson on the left has done. Now Bobby has to push off the beach and climb aboard again which can be a problem when you're only five feet two inches tall and the water is six feet deep. But finally he's aboard and once again master of his vessel for about 30 seconds. But with the help of the strong wind under his sail, Bobby's back up again quickly. Eventually, the problems of sailing in the surf were mastered. And soon they were even riding the big ones side by side. a cat off the beach is one thing, but a few times each year, massive storms in the Antarctic cause huge swells to march up the California coast, breaking a mile out to sea in a famous killer capo reef. 
perfect for long screaming rides down the face of mountainous swells where the catamarans reach speeds of over 25 miles an hour. something new going on in the surf now and it goes on all through the summer day until the setting sun draws the cats back to the beach at Pochi. It started out as a beach toy from a drawing in the sand. For Hobie Alter it became a new business and more work. But for his friends at Pochi it was a new sport, sailing in the surf. Mm -hmm. 